I really enjoyed though, just like a lot of the just like you know easygoing sequences of just a conversation at a restaurant. But there's just slow zoom ins on the characters that just sent create this sense of dread and just like anxiety while you're watching the movie. Run! Dad, please help me! I'm not actually doing anything to them. What is up, YouTube? Drive by Movies here, and you're watching Fresh Releases. My name is James. My name is Blaze. And today we're checking out the film that got no Oscar nominations Dream Scenario. Maybe we should cool this thing off. What? What do you mean? It's embarrassing. Which part? You're a dream to me, dream to me. I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll see you in my dreams. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So of course not. <laughs> Dream scenario is the story of a hapless family man who finds his life turned upside down when millions of strangers suddenly start seeing him in their dreams. When his nighttime appearances take a nightmarish turn, Paul is forced to navigate his newfound stardom. So this is the Nicolas Cage vehicle. I mean, who else could you see in this role? I could see a couple other people, one of which obviously, I mean, probably John Malkovich, because that's almost feels like a sister movie to this. Uh, but yeah, James, what do you think of Dream Scenario? Yeah, so I've been seeing the trailer for this movie for quite some time. I think my first experience was seeing Bottoms in theaters and I saw this trailer and I had never heard of it. And I was just like, oh, I got to be on the lookout for that when it comes out. And Glad that I finally got a chance to watch it because it's a really fun time and a very fun concept and it just interesting subjects uh, for the most part. Uh, it's I know it's like overall based off like an article or something that like kind of happened. That's like, you know, a lot of people have a vision of someone, but it's not really like, you know, it's not thrown into the level that this movie goes into. Um, but I was surprised how much this movie kind of goes into like the horror aspect of just like the genre uh like those parts are really entertaining i thought but overall i guess uh this movie isn't a rewatchable movie for me though just because i wish this movie had more to say um and there isn't really a whole lot to say i thought within this movie it's just overall just a fun entertaining watch but i did enjoy it what are your thoughts on it yeah, I think that this has a really cool, interesting concept that I don't think I've seen before. So it was original in that sense. I do think it starts to peter off towards the end and overstays its welcome. Also kind of, like you said, runs out of things to say, while then just kind of simultaneously like kind of not finding a way out and then just all of a sudden ending not in any climactic way whatsoever and not even anticlimactic to be notable enough but yeah i thought that this was a really interesting performance by nicholas cage obviously he goes all in with you know that balding kind of hairstyle for this movie i don't know if that was probably i'm assuming like a wig or some type of hair hair piece is a hair piece or i've seen the word hair system be thrown around a lot is that is that what it would be a hair system i mean i always just assume it's a bald cap with like a hair piece around the bald cap but what do i know honestly <laughs> yeah or, or you have no hair problems so yeah what do you know <laughs> uh, like a reverse hair system i guess is what this might be i always see those tiktok videos about like I, I I thought they were called toupees, but they seem to be called systems now. So I feel like this is like a reverse toupee, maybe. But yeah, anyways, Nick Cage goes all in on this on this hairpiece and uh, all in on this role and really delivers, you know, kind of this loser character to us that is interesting to watch. You know, he's like kind of a weird guy. He's petty. And the whole story that goes on with him, like appearing in people's dreams, but never really being more than just somebody who's just there. But he becomes so recognizable that, you know, this quick stardom kind of takes over his life and kind of changes and alters his path. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I Like right away within the movie, I was just like, oh, my gosh, it's going to go straight to his head within this movie. Because 
Um, yeah, like I, they, the movie could have gone in multiple different directions. And I did like the aspect of him trying to become like kind of a celebrity. And then like the idea of Michael Sarah's thoughts, thoughts, thoughts business. I think that was the name of it, which is a stupid name for a business, I thought. But um, I really enjoyed those moments, too, of just like them, like, you know, trying to capitalize, like, you know, you're viral right now. We need to jump on this right now. And then just like, you know, trying to pivot his image when things start not going the way that like he kind of imagined and everything. But in the at the end of the day, he kind of gets what he wants, but also doesn't get what he wants to. And um, and then like, you know, I, I guess towards the ending, though, too, it kind of jumps into this whole weird marketing thing that is just magically invented, which, you know, doesn't seem off and doesn't seem out of the ordinary. But this movie is very real world for the most part, other than the fantastic element of just like all of us having a dream within uh, the dream of like this Nicholas Nathan, uh, Cage character, like not necessarily haunting our dreams, but just being there, but then eventually haunting um like that part is the fantastical element and then like when it goes into the sci-fi element of this futuristic invention i thought that was hilarious and is definitely probably what's going to happen someday within our future um but just like i guess i would have liked it to have meant more uh towards the end or like you know it to kind of just like you know fall in line with nicholas cage a little bit better like i mean yeah he does use it towards the end of the movie i don't want to spoil like what he uses it for uh, essentially but just Overall, like, I guess, like, the movie's just saying, like, you know, capitalism bad, like, this is what's going to happen. Yeah. Did you feel that the, you know, metaphor for this kind of, like, cancel culture element was too much, kind of, like, too ham-fisted, too heavy-handed? Or uh, was or was it fine? I thought it was, I thought it was handled just fine and everything. Um, I, if anything, I thought it was hilarious, too. Just, like, uh, there's, like apology that's supposed to go viral but then it like you know backfires and everything and i know that like always happens with like a lot of when someone gets canceled they have to put out the pr statement and everything but i really like that it's not like an official one where like you know it was approved by like the family and approved by his talent team like michael sarah and the rest of his group i liked that was actually one of the best moments within the movie i thought because he is trying to be heartfelt he is trying to be serious but at the end of the day he's just trying to save you know himself too and it is like not really like he doesn't have the interest of everyone else he just has his own interests at stake but for the most part though you know he is trying to be heartfelt and uh like i just thought it was hilarious though just seeing him in that like weak moment of vulnerability and that's the closest like nick cage gets to being like nick cage within the movie like uh you know we've seen him go full nick cage in movies like mandy or uh that a terrible uh, Five Nights at Freddy ripoff movie. <laughs> Will uh, we'll, yeah, have, have we? Did we watch that movie on the show? I want to say we did, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, you know, what? I don't think we did. I know we saw that uh, Color Out of Space movie with him, and mm -hmm. uh, I think that was I think that was the only movie we reviewed with Nick Cage recently. But if you haven't seen Mandy, highly recommend that one. Yeah. yeah, I think we crossed fields there when it came to like color out of space. And then we saw Five Nights at Freddy's. It just feels like we saw Willy's Wonderland. I think I watched Willy's Wonderland in my you know, own time. And yeah, I'm glad we didn't do it on this show. But here we are talking about it when there's a much better film to talk about. And I think that's dream scenario. I enjoyed this film for the most part. I think even though I think it has this problem where it does run out of steam towards the end and then just kind of like tries to bring in this futuristic element, like you mentioned, I didn't really care for that because I did feel like it was, you know, out of left field. But at the same time, like this movie, you do have to suspend your disbelief enough to, you know, believe that Nicolas Cage is popping up in all these people's dreams and then their reactions to him popping up in their dreams are outlandish enough for, I guess it's not that hard to wrap my head around, you know, this device that, you know, can channel kind of that same energy that he had in the beginning of the film where these dream influences are going to pop up in people's uh, dreams and you know maybe hold some merch or some like one of the dream influencers says like I just want to pop up in people's dreams and maybe like hold some merch or uh, or play a new hit song like it's just like so stupid it just reminded me totally about like influencer culture you know like they'll they'll 
make whatever kind of weird content that would never exist on, you know, terrestrial television or film and, and cinema. And, uh, then somehow drop a G fuel advertisement and at, <laughs> at the same time. So yeah, there's that. But, um, yeah, I'd say I enjoyed this film. I think it's a pretty, a pretty good movie. If you're looking for something that's kind of, you know, off the beaten path, looking for something kind of weird, this definitely hits it. It kind of mixes those genres of, uh, it has like a horrific element to it, but it never felt like a full on horror movie. Right. Yeah. Like, I think there's some intense sequences here and they're shot really well. Uh, that was one thing I wanted to comment on just how well this movie shot. Like, of course, there's that interesting use of like, you know, grain. It looks like it's shot on film. I, I don't think it was. It's probably shot on digital and was just kind of edited to give it that kind of film look. But I could be wrong also 100 percent but i really enjoyed though just like a lot of the just like you know easygoing sequences of just a conversation at a restaurant but there's just slow zoom ins on the characters that just sent create this sense of dread and just like anxiety while you're watching the movie and i i really liked that characteristic within the movie despite it not being a horrific moment i just liked it kind of feeling like keeping you on its edge uh for when like the horrific moments come in like kind of like you know uh, is the big bang and you know uh gives you like a cool moment after setting you up which is like a basic quiet going scene which i really enjoyed um but yeah uh, i do recommend checking out it's a really funny movie i thought i was cracking up throughout the entire movie especially one sequence when a fantasy is being recreated um <laughs> but yeah what are your thoughts on dream scenario are we being was i being a little hard on it um i enjoyed it uh but let me know in the comment let us both know in the comments below what you thought about dream scenario great way to help support the show, the show is by watching it through our amazon affiliate link in our description box below and if you guys haven't already go ahead and smash that like button hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell to get all the latest updates and speaking of updates, be sure to catch all our social media links down below. We got Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and we also have our own personal letterbox accounts. That'll conclude this week's episode. Tune in next week for a brand new video.